y'all. It's me. I got something in the mail today, and there's something sitting behind me that I've been kind of aching to show you. I finally finished it. And, of course, everybody corrected me in the comments about what date. Because, <laughs> you know, I never get things right the first time. So, it's the 15th, I believe, is what they corrected it to. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing my drawing then. Um, I'm probably going to have two names because I'm drawing from the fairies and from the regular people. So, the fairies that I draw from, whoever went, gets that is going to get a little something from me. And whoever wins the regular one is going to get a little something from me because, you know, hey... Fairies. What can I say? And I'm actually watching everybody's videos. I'm doing a fairy flyby. That's what I put in the comments. And good luck, everybody, because it's gonna be a it's gonna be a huge one. I mean, whoever wins this is gonna have a massive amount of mail. Yeah, their postman's not gonna like them for a while. Yeah, not gonna like you at all. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> anyway, I went. I got my order in from Mary Maxim and something from Walmart that I opened, but I didn't realize what it was until after I opened it. So I'm going to show you that first. Bavarian crochet. I saw this design. I thought it was really, really pretty. And it's just supposed to be really, really easy to learn. So... And it's got several projects and stuff like that. And, you know, I just like the pattern. Now, this thing was a paid Hirschner's pattern. So, I'm going to hold it up. Y'all aren't going to get the whole thing because, you know, how long it's kind of big. But, this is the pattern on it. I hope y'all can see that because I can't really tell because the holes are really small here. And then the corners all look like this. So it's kind of like a diamond pattern thing going on. So that's why I fell in love with it. And that's why I wanted it for my chair because it's just so darn, I love the, the design. But now that I got the pattern, I can do it. Yeah, I froze again. Already folded up the blanket, so that's done. But I hope you got to see the whole blanket. Um, can't really tell. But now on to Mary Maxim. This is the thing I ordered because I got free shipping. Now I opened the top of it because I wanted to be able to pull, you know, pull everything out. But first, let's get the normal little extra things they put in here. Oh, AARP. Wonderful. Yes, I am a member of the A. No, I'm not. <laughs> Should be, but I'm not. Um, they sent me a nice little thing again. Um, because it takes them a while to ship anything because of COVID. They're, you know, running on, a, I guess, a limited staff. But I got, just to let y'all know, everything in here was only a buck ninety-nine a piece. Good deal, right? And shipping and this is it it's called fair isle angel um but i kind of liked it because it looked different and i wanted some different colors and you know just interesting things but see this is supposed to be a four but as usual it's a thin four um Let's see. It's 153 yards, 3.5 ounces, 139 meters, and 100 grams. And it's 57% cotton, 28% nylon, and 15 polyester. Now, you couldn't use these for, like, potholders and things, anything that you would put next to heat because it would probably melt with all the nylon and everything in here. Now, this color is... Okay, well, huh. well, let me see. Sailor. 
Taylor blue. Okay. So it's a it looks more like a denim color, but that's okay. And then I got this beautiful light blue, which is a uh, cool blue. More like a baby blue. This my light's a little high today. There we go. That's it. And I got some aqua, but it looks more like a mint green. See? And then I got uh let's see. Sky. Ooh, that's a good, good shot of that one. And the last but not least, I got, and all of these I got two of, so, you know, I can make something cute. This is lavender, and it definitely is a lavender. Let's see if I can get it in here without blowing the teeth, the camera out. There we go. A little bit. Okay. Anywho, that's it. Now, I don't know. If I've told you, I really haven't been going out at all, except for a few times to go like to the post office to the grocery store, which I did the other day. I walk into be bop into that grocery store. It is packed wall to wall people, and nobody but me and three people are wearing a mask. And my daughter is now working two hospital COVID patients um, because she's already experienced with COVID patients. Another hospital offered her uh, what they call a PRN, which is they call you when they need you to help with their COVID patients because not many of their staff are trained with it. And she is. So she's going to be working both hospitals uh, during this whole thing. So and I wouldn't think Mississippi had that many, but apparently they have quite a few. And uh, they're having outbreaks again, um, spikes in a lot of large cities like New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, Detroit, Philadelphia, Baltimore. A uh, bunch of these cities are having spikes in COVID and they really can't tell us why. So, I don't know. Uh, I still want this throw, y'all. It's too expensive. I'm waiting for the price to go down because right now it's, was it 69? Yes, $70 for that. Yeah, it's the kit. It has everything, but that's a lot of money to pay for a pattern. And I think I can do the pattern without buying it, but I really don't want to. I want to do it the right way, you know, pay for it. But, you know, with whenever you crochet, you can kind of tell by looking at a pattern how to do it. And that was like with this. I didn't use the pattern but once. And that was to do the layout. Of how to do the layout. Everything else I already figured out. But I didn't want to do, the, do it without paying for the pattern. Because to me that somebody else's work and they deserve the money from designing it. So... It was worth it to get the layout. Let's see. I'm trying to think of what else is going on. Because, you know, yesterday. Oh. Y'all. Yesterday, my sister comes and knocks on my, my side of my house. And it's loud. I'm in the kitchen. I jump a mile. Because she knocked right up underneath that window. And I walked out and said, So what the hell are you <laughs> knocking for? And she said... I want you to go swimming with us. Go get your suit on. And I'm like, okay. So I went and got my suit on. I walk out the door, go around to the back of my house because the pool's at the back of my house. It's just a above ground pool. So they're busy trying to get the ladder stabilized. And I'm like 
a decent sized girl here. So, you know, climbing a ladder, it's got to be a stable, steady ladder for me to climb. Yeah. And um, it didn't feel that way. So I was kind of like nervous about going up it because, you know, I'm a decent sized girl. You know, we need that stability now. So I climb up the ladder and I'm, I get in and it's shaking the whole time. I'm like freaking because, you know, I, I don't want to fall. I'd already fallen into the pool once. Uh, we had another ladder that just, over the summer, it had, um, oh, what are they called? It had deteriorated and it was cracked and stuff and nobody saw the cracks. And when we climbed it, uh, it started cracking more. And by the time I climbed it, it gave up and I fell in the pool and it hurt because my leg got twisted up into the, the ladder part that broke off. And I tell you that since then, I'm very careful about ladders leading into the pool. Yeah. I'd rather them build me a staircase <laughs> to the pool. I'm not asking for much. Not at all. <laughs> And then uh, I'm still working on the ripple blanket I've been working on. It's going pretty quick. Um, hopefully, I'll be finished with it pretty soon. And then I have that butterfly blanket that I'm going to be working on. So I've got that lined up. And then I have another one behind it. And I'm going to use these two to make another one of these. The, the yarn I just got in, I'm going to use some of those colors to make another one of these gonna look good gonna look good because it's gonna be blues and greens and lavender the blue green lavender combination and uh the only thing that drove me crazy was connecting them because the yarn that you use to connect them is the lightest yarn and of course it shows through everything just one little slip of your needle and everything shows so i see every mistake in that thing Everyone. I think we're all like that, though. We're so perfectionist whenever we get something finished. If it's not perfect, we're like, <clears throat> I know I am. Usually, I, I prefer to have everything completely straight and, and looking good before I, you know, use it or give it to anybody. Because if it's not good, then, you know, I don't want anybody else to have it or, you know, because to me, it's not worth giving if it's not good. This right here is fine because it's only going to sit here and I don't have to worry about anybody looking at it every day. Right. So to me, that's fine. I can make a flubs on this one, but they still drive me crazy. Um, I have got so many comments on that angel Christmas in July fairy thing. I'll be writing for days. So I ordered me some more pens and some paper because I know I'm going to need it to write all these names down. Um, for those of you who have never done a drawing with me and, and stuff like that, I don't use the random comment picker because I don't trust it. Um, I don't know why, but... For some reason, it seems kind of hinky with YouTube in that random comment picker. So what I do is I write all the names down and I number them. And I have a little bin, 10 over here that I have put a whole bunch of numbers in. Uh, right now, I've got 80. I'm going to need way more for the drawing. And what I do is I put all the numbers in there. I shake it up real good. And then I pull a number. And whoever's name is by this number is who wins and that person's name gets sent to Dana at Wonderlust Crochet because she does the big she's doing the big drawing and whoever she picks you know we'll get the addresses from and then we'll all send them something or if you don't trust everybody else with your address you can send it directly to the channel you won from and you know they can either gather everybody's stuff be sent to them so they can put it all in one box and send it to you or you know i don't know how that's going to work because if it goes overseas that's going to be highly expensive so i would just give your address 
so that everybody can send you something because most of us won't keep the address long. Um, if you're not a subscriber, I appreciate you being a subscriber, but you don't have to be. Um, I've never been, you know, firm on that because, you know, if you, if you're, if you want to watch me, then you can subscribe to me. If you don't think you're going to like having, hanging out with me and talking and all this other yada yada, um, then you don't have to subscribe. I'm, I'm not going to be upset about it. I'm just going to go, you know, pull the numbers. And that's all it goes. That's, I mean, that's all I do. I'm not going to fuss about it. I'd like to have subscribers, but to me, I didn't start the channel to have subscribers. I started it basically as a crochet journey for me and to tell stories and stuff. I, I told a few stories that are actually kind of funny, but um, yeah, because, you know, my life has been weird. Um, most soap operas don't have as much junk go on in my life as they do but anywho i wanted to get on here this won't be posted till later tonight because of course those of you who are aware know that i can't do the internet thing until late in the evening when nobody else is on because they will freak out and panic will ensue so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this short well, it's at 16 minutes, so I guess it's not that short. Um, one thing, if you could, if you want to, I'd like to know what everybody's working on. Um, because, you know, I've got my red thing out for the Christmas thing and this out for the Christmas thing. And I don't know about y'all, but June and July is basically when I start doing Christmas presents. Um if I'm going to crochet something, I do, I do them then. And I've got a lot to do this year. So, I mean, I'm doing hats. Yeah, I know. Y'all can laugh at me. I'm doing hats. If you don't follow my channel, you don't really know, but I hate hats. I hate doing them. I don't like doing them. But I'm going to do them. So hopefully, I can get all 50 knocked out. If I do good with each skein of yarn, I'll have enough for a scarf. You know, a wrap. Maybe just simple, small wrap around the scarf. And then uh, a hat. And that's what everybody will get. Boys will get boy colors. Girls get girl colors. Or whatever color I feel like. Um, because, you know, some colors I think are girl colors that are blue. And some boy colors are like lavender and pinks. And, you know, they like different colors. Everybody does. So I'm just going to be doing that. And hopefully I can do it all. I don't think I can, but I'm going to try. I think I'm going to try. I'm so going to hate it, but I'm going to try to do it because... Yeah, that's, you know, the way it rolls. Hey, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. Anywho, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And don't forget, get go to the Christmas in July's fairies videos of everybody's to, to put your comment in if you're not a fairy to win. Um. I'm the only one that I know of that is doing duels, one for the fairies and one for the non-fairies that commented. Because to me, it just, you know, I don't know. I'm funny that way. So, <laughs> anywho, you guys, Christmas in July fairies, look it up. You'll have a ton of videos. I think there's over 80 people now. So, you should have 80 channels. You can go subscribe, uh, like comment on those particular videos so that you can be a part of the Christmas in July fairies drawing. So if that's your jam, go for it. Um, if not, well, you know, hang out, listen to them for a while, watch some tutorials. Some people have some amazing tutorials on their channels, y'all. And I subscribe to a whole bunch of new channels. I'm excited about that. Although my list grows long. 
y'all. I'm subscribed to a lot of channels. But, you know, I try and watch them all at least once or twice. Because, I mean, I have some that I've watched once in the last month. Maybe two months. But I try and hit every channel every month. It's hard sometimes because I have so many. But I try to hit every channel at least once a month. All right, y'all. I'm going to let you go. I've been yam yammering for another four or five minutes. Y'all be careful. Have fun. Stay safe. And just have fun with everything. And y'all have a blessed day and a blessed week. Bye.